Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sierra. I am a married mom of two small boys, and I own an indoor playroom here in St. Louis. And I also create content on TikTok and obviously YouTube, where you guys are right now. And this is my number one video requested on TikTok. I am asked almost every day to give a tour of the playroom. Unfortunately, one minute just isn't long enough. So today I will be doing an updated tour of grandma's playroom here for you guys. I did this back in July when I bought the business, but so much has changed. I have spent months painting, redecorating, buying new toys. I am constantly updating the playroom. It's actually one of my like favorite things to do. So I thought I would just take you guys, show you everything new. If you do wanna see that last video, I will link it in the cards so you guys can kinda see how much has changed. But without further ado, let's just jump into the video and show you what we've got going on here. <laughs> When you first walk in, it is our lobby area. We've got the waiver for parents to sign and I normally sit here. And then one of my favorite things is our free little library. It is perfect for kids to take a book or leave a book and it helps get them out of the playroom without too much crying. We come through our door here and it is childproof because kids are tricky. And you can see our cafe area. I just recently we renovated this and I have a video of that on my YouTube channel as well. I really love the rainbow theme and decor. And then you have my desk. Everybody was requesting to see my desk. So I will finally show you guys. It is a mess. I am a messy worker, but here it is guys. Here is my desk behind the scenes of the mess, the mayhem, or maybe we should say where the magic happens. We do sell light snacks here at the playroom. I really haven't touched much here in my office desk area. It's probably the number one place that needs help. So maybe in the future, I will do a video of attempting to organize clean this area. But for now, when you're back here, you can't really tell how much of a mess it is. One of my favorite parts of the playroom is this rolling cart. Inside this rolling cart are all of my fidgets. I am recently on a fidget kick because of TikTok and I keep everything in these drawers now. It's so older kids can easily access them. I have access to them. And honestly, a lot of parents are loving these fidgets just as much as the kids. These drawers are not full, which leads me to believe that I do need to in fact fill them. So if you guys have any fidget ideas of what I should buy next, let me know. And my sad putty drawer. I definitely need to get some more putty. If you guys want a more in-depth tour of all of my fidgets, let me know down in the comments and I'd be more than happy to do that for you guys. Looking out from the cafe area, we see the main playroom floor. Over here is kind of our pretend area. We've got all of our babies, kitchen, all of our loose food, as I like to call it, two shopping carts and our fresh market. A lot of this stuff is from Melissa and Doug. They are one of my favorite toy companies. Melissa and Doug, if you're watching this, I love you. Please sponsor me. And this is the infamous fort. If you guys have been here a while, you already know what this guy is, what he's done, and the work it took to put it together. If not, I will link the video on where we got this, how we got this, and the whole story behind it. But my husband basically put this thing together and it is a monster, but the kids are obsessed with it. Here I am on top of it for scale. I am 5'4 and I am just hitting the top. So if I wear a ponytail or a bun, I don't fit. But this thing is very sturdy, it holds about 1,500 pounds. So we can fit a lot of kiddos up here and we really love it. I'm hoping to add a busy board here one day and maybe I'll film that for you guys. If you wanna see how my husband and I make, build and create a busy board for this upper area. I can't put anything up here that can be yeeted off because I promise you, if it can be yeeted, it will be yeeted. Toddlers be crazy. This table is my favorite table of the playroom. It holds all of the fidgets for all ages. So I've got two different dimples, some different types of koosh balls, 
which are really fun. A water snake that I do not worry about. And then my favorite of all the fidgets, pop tubes. These are so much fun. And I see adults in this area just as often as I see kids. This is the back half of the playroom. We've got kind of our climbing gym equipment here. I still have not touched this back wall. I don't know what I wanna do with it yet. I do know I wanna paint a new mural just because I enjoy doing that. There's nothing wrong with this mural. It's just, I, I idle hands, guys. I just have to be doing something. <laughs> We've got our hula hoops. And we have everything on wheels. We've got our scooters, two different cars, and our motorcycle. These toys are very popular and used all the time. Our light table with the magnets is also a very popular area for adults and children alike. And I love putting them in rainbow order because how cute. Coming back over here, we have our massive train table. This thing is huge. The kids love this train table and I love that there's multiple different sides so lots of kids can play at the same time. And then over here we have our barn. I did paint the barn. It was like an orange house before. So I love that. And I'm still working on what I wanna do in the background. Let me tell you guys some of my ideas. These doors would make really cool chalk doors. And I am trying to see if there is a way to do that as well as making these windows chalkboards as well. But we have our little farm area down here. And the kids love pretending over it in this area. Most of the kitchens and stuff are back there and the children seem to love imagination and pretend play. So I thought the barn at this end would be a really good way to keep the flow of the playroom so they're not just stuck in one area for pretend play. These are my favorite dinosaurs. They are by Bully, they are huge, they are soft, and they have lasted so long. I did put these in my favorite Amazon toys, so definitely check these out if you have a dinosaur lover in your family. This is our balance beam. I get asked all the time what this is because a lot of people think that it's like a track for cars, which the children certainly can use it for that. And then we have the baby area. This is the area that I love the most. I redid this for a video recently, so I will link that in the cards. And the rainbow mural is the inspiration for the rest of the playroom. I also have some picture frames over here with some art. So I would love to add some art from you guys. So I will link my PO box in the description box. So if you guys wanna see your art featured at Grandma's Playroom, just send it to me and I'd love to hang it up. We also have our felt wall, our magnet wall, and our string art. I also did this area for a YouTube video. Pretty much anytime I update, renovate, or do anything, I share with you guys. And the bathroom is no different. I did this bathroom in a YouTube video. And another top asked question is, do I have bathroom chair at Grandma's Playroom? I have two. I have this one with the changing table behind here, or I have this smaller one. And this one I haven't done anything with. So I definitely want to update, redecorate, this bathroom. I just don't have any ideas yet. My last tour did not include the party room and I am now realizing that I haven't shared a lot with you guys about this party room and I definitely had a lot of fun painting, decorating, and getting this place together. So let me show you what it looks like now. It is set up for a birthday now because we do have some birthday parties this weekend, but this mural was a lot of fun to paint. My friend and I did it in about an hour. And then over here, we've got our gigantic pig wall, and then they use the buffet for food and drink. So right now it is set up for a party this weekend. We have tables for adults and children. There won't be this many people here, but we like to add extra tables to keep people separated. Okay guys, I'm really nervous to show you this last part because you guys have been asking for it. And it actually gives me a lot of anxiety to share, but it's through these doors and it's the basement. So I will take you guys down there 
I will show you the basement. And don't judge me, okay? It is a mess. It is atrocious. I need help. But I've really been focusing on upstairs and haven't really focused down here. So let me show you what we're working with. We go down the rusty stairs. I know on TikTok, a lot of people were insinuating that this red was something other than rust, but it is rust. And here we are, guys. It is a mess. It is a madhouse and it needs help. This room gives me anxiety, so I oftentimes will just walk upstairs, shut the door, and pretend it's not here. But that's it, guys. That's the whole playroom. It's about 2,300 square feet, not including the basement, and it is filled with toys, fidgets, and so many fun things. We're constantly updating, changing things around. So I might have to start doing these tours every six to 12 months just to show you guys constantly how much things change. So if you guys want me to do this again in about six, 12 months, let me know down in the comments and I would love to do that for you. If there's anything else you wanna see, again, let me know down in the comments. I've got a lot of really fun videos coming up with fidgets and sensory toys and viral TikToks. I swear, I swear, I've got a whole list of videos that I'm really excited to start shooting for you guys. When I started out this month, I said that my goal was to have six thousand by the end of February and you guys exceeded that. I, I think we're close to 10,000 now and I'm trying really hard not to cry. I already cried last night. I'm just so thankful for you guys. I love you guys so much. I love how much you guys love the playroom and I just love sharing it. I'm going to stop saying love now, but thank you guys so much. I can't wait to keep creating for you guys. And if you liked this video, I would like it if you gave it a thumbs up. And if you loved it, I would love it if you would subscribe. Thank you guys so much. I'm gonna go cry now. Happy tears. But remember, wash your hands.